One day, while Tinker the Turtle was taking his morning stroll, he was nearly run over by Harry Bunny. What do you think you're doing laying in the road? I could have pulled a muscle. But I wasn't laying in the road. I was moving. You call that moving? If you were moving any faster, you would have planted roots. I could move just as fast as you. Prove it. Any time and any place. Okay, Big Mouth. I'll challenge you to a race tomorrow, at noon, on the forest trail. All right, I'll be there. Later that afternoon, Tinker was hard at work in his workshop. Hare began to worry that he might have underestimated Tinker. To ensure his victory, he talked Latimer Lemming into setting traps for Tinker. Latimer, being very gullible, agreed to help Hare. The next afternoon, standing at the starting line, Hare began to taunt poor Tinker. Listen, Beanbeak, I hope you don't think I'm going to take it easy on you. I know all about the famous story of the tortoise and the hare, and there will be no naps for this bunny. No, sir. Meanwhile, all the while Hare was bragging, Tinker climbed into the top of his shell and... peeled off leaving Hare behind in the dust. With great effort, Hare was able to catch up to Tinker. Farther up the trail, Latimer was setting his first trap. But Tinker, being prepared for just about anything, pressed a button on his dashboard and easily crossed to the other side. Hare, having never taken the time to find out what trap Latimer was going to set, didn't. Wet, but still determined, Hare managed to catch up to Tinker. Just up the trail, Latimer was setting his next trap. With a little effort, he managed to switch the signs on the trail just before Tinker arrived. Using his turtle tracker, Tinker was able to choose the correct path and forged on. Hare, not realizing the signs had been changed, took the wrong trail. Ouch! Ouch! Ow! Ouch! 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 Elsewhere, Latimer was setting yet another trap. But again, with just a push of a button, Tinker turned his shell into a monster truck and easily cleared the obstacle. While Hare, once again, <laughs> did not. By this time, it was quite clear that Hare was all but beaten and it looked like Tinker would easily cross the finish line first. And all of a sudden, his shell ran out of gas. Hare, seeing his opportunity, ran past Tinker and stopping just shy of the finish line, began to taunt poor Tinker. Ha! I told you I'm in the prime of my life. There's only one victor, and that's me. Number one. Numero uno. But Tinker was too busy pushing yet another button on his dashboard to listen to Hare's claims and shot himself out of the shell and over the finish line. Which goes to show, with a little creativity and persistence, one can accomplish anything.